So guys, uh, after checking in a lot of places and after a lot of bargaining, we are here at uh, Kalpana Square and uh, this is the bus stand in which we will get direct uh, buses uh, to Konark and Puri and all. So this is the Konark bus. What a, what a timing. Uh, so yeah, let's climb. In the bus, we are here at Konark. So you can see the Sun Temple, zero kilometers. So we are going to take a right. Uh, so we are finally here. And I don't think drones are allowed. Anyways, I'll ask. Uh, so we are here. So guys, we plan to stop over uh, for some food. And after having, we're going to uh, go explore the Sun Temple. Um, so guys, we ordered some simple um, Kulka and uh, Chana and uh, it's really nice um so guys we are done with our food and uh, the hotel owner allowed us to keep our bags there uh, so that's a good news because we have less weight now and uh, it's very hot and uh, we are going towards the konak sun temple Boita. Boita means boat. Um, so guys, unfortunately the drone is banned here. 
and uh, uh, there were two Russian people who were shooting and they also got detained for it and um, so basically the drones are banned and uh, I can take, uh, I'll, try, I'll try my best to take how much of a cinematic shots I can take so we got the ticket, it's 40 rupees per person and um, it is free for people below 15 years of age the Konark Sun Temple is dedicated to the Hindu sun god Surya. It is built in the 13th century by King Narasimha Deva I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. The temple is designed in the shape of a colossal chariot with 24 wheels and it is drawn by 7 horses representing the 7 days of a week. The Konark Sun Temple was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984 because of its cultural significance and architectural brilliance. The temple is adorned with exquisite stone carvings depicting various scenes from Hindu mythology, celestial beings, musicians, dancers and everyday life during that time of period. There is a popular legend that suggests that the temple was built with magnetic stones, enabling the main idol of Surya to hover in mid-air due to the temple's unique design. The temple is designed in such a way that the first rays of the sun at the dawn fall on the main entrance. Over the centuries, the, tem the temple suffered damage due to natural calamities and invasions. British archaeologists rediscovered the temple in the middle of a forest in 19th century and extensive restoration work has been carried out since then. So guys, um, we visited the Konak temple and uh, I took some cinematic shots. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot out here. And uh, that's why we took you took some cold water and uh, now as I said we have kept our uh, bags in the hotel so we're gonna go collect it and we're gonna take a deviation we have to take a left over there to get buses to Puri Jagannath and uh, yeah so we are taking a bus to Puri Jagannath where we're gonna stay tonight uh, so let's go so thanks for watching the Konak vlog guys do let me know if you like it and uh, Thanks for watching this vlog. I'll meet you in the next vlog, which is going to be the Puri Jagannath vlog. And uh, thank you for watching.